grab a handful of stars And travel across the water And I made a visit to Mars Cause you got me on cloud nine Nothing confines how high I climb for you Savvy family, what's poppin' with y'all? Guys, today is July 24th. Right now it is 12.48 a.m. And Lily is having some pretty gnarly contractions, yo. <sighs> okay, Zaylee's due date is supposed to be August 5th, seven days away from her dad's. But if she's anything like me, She's gonna come early. It's only normal that she would come early. I came two weeks, I think, early. I'm still a massive baby, but anyway, this isn't about me. So, Lily's having pretty tough contractions right now. They've been going on since about four o'clock today. Um, Lily woke up today. We realized that she had some spotting. Typically, women will spot at the very end, um, which is a sign of dilation, which caught us by surprise, considering Zaylee's not due for another two weeks. Yeah, uh, throughout the day, the contractions have gotten stronger and stronger and stronger, and they're lasting longer and they're closer together. So it looks like Mrs. Zaylee will be coming sooner than anticipated, which I'm completely stoked about, even though I wanted her to be my birthday present, she still is. It's insane to be here right now it feels crazy when you're anticipating your child it's super lit because like you know that you're bringing a baby into the world but you go nine months of like just waiting and waiting for your baby to be here and then when that day comes you're like whoa like whoa it's different like it's different being like pregnant and then the baby being here so like we're just getting ready for that so right now we have all of our stuff packed up hospital bags excuse our wires from our tv we're just moving in this place yeah we're gonna go see the uh the ladies of the hour. What's going on, baby? How are you feeling lovely? I'm all right. I'm just trying to pack some last minute things. You need help? Mm -hmm. Everybody. Just do 11 oh, support. Yeah. She looks like she's dropped, dude. Oh yeah, most definitely. Yeah, most definitely. I ate too, and usually like, if I eat, then like, you can't really tell, but you can tell. You yeah, you can I definitely eat. tell. Rico, you ready for your little sister? You gonna take care of her? Are you gonna change her diaper, Rico? What's going on? You having another one? Yeah. Walk, baby. Yeah, there you go. Come on. You got it. You got it. Oh, yeah, she's definitely She dropped more even like the last few hours because remember I was like, yo, take a picture. It might be the last picture of pregnancy progress. Yeah. How are you feeling, baby? I'm nervous, but I'm cool. I'm excited. I'm so excited, guys. Put some oil on my belly. <laughs> It's really about to go down. Oh, but in other news, look, mm. Mm. sleeping on daddy's side. The only reason why she is uh, sleeping on my side is because we need Lily to be able to get up and access. And I'm a light sleeper, so if the baby cries, I will get up, get the baby, and I will hand her to Lily. I'll be so happy about when all these damn pillows get off the bed. I'll be having pillows up my back, my neck, all that. And these pillows be driving me nuts, especially this one. I'm so sick of this thing. Get rid of that. <sighs> We're excited. We hope you're all excited. We will let you guys know if we have to go to the hospital or not tonight. I'm gonna take Lily walking in our living room because they say walk. Come on, a nice walk. Um, yeah, many people have claimed that they go in and then they say that you can't pop no babies out yet because they ain't dilated enough, but they'd be like, oh. Yeah, I was talking to this lady that was apparently having like contractions and they were only like a few minutes apart and they didn't admit her and so I was like, oh my God. I'm trying to do that. I'm just glad that I had the woman, y'all. That's all I'm saying. I'm just playing. I'm not insensitive like that, baby. You know, I, I got your back and your support. And if I could trade you, I'd go through all the pain for you. Shut up. Bro, stop. You know I would. Come on, bro. You know I would do it. I know you would. All right. God, man. All right, Savvy family. But we're going to catch up with you guys in a little bit. Um, we're going to go for a nice little stroll through our living room. I'll hit y'all with updates. Oh, I can't believe I'm so excited. Jesus, help me. 
I was in there laying down. I was like, okay, I'm gonna give me some sleep. I think I had even dozed off. And then when you call daddy, I'm, I'm like, what? <laughs> I know, I wanted to go to sleep right now too. This is so exciting. You guys are gonna be a mama and a daddy, like, Today. All right, Savvy fam. Quick update. Baby girl is having a lot of contractions now. So we're probably going to have to end up going to the hospital either tonight or... Tonight. Yeah, more than likely tonight. <laughs> the last few have been like four or five minutes apart. So more than likely, we're going to have to go to the hospital tonight. My mom and dad are going to be driving down from Beaumont, which is like two hours away from where we live. And they're going to come and stay at our house. So um, what I need to do is I need to move my car out of its parking spot. We live in kind of like a gated community, so I need to move my car out of the gate so they can get to it. I'm gonna tape my car key under the fender. But Savvy Family, this looks like it is uh, happening. It's happening, y'all. This is getting real. Um, I'm gonna take baby girl with me because walking is good. All right, Savvy Family, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. You gotta make me an agreement right now. I don't want you stressing out. Stuff you shouldn't be Why you got out. Listen, 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 listen. You're not listening at all. I don't want you stressing out about things you shouldn't be stressing out about. I got everything, all of this. You love me, you worry about all of this. You worry about that. Yes, baby. All you right. give me a that's our agreement? Hey, Brenda, we're very good morning. Is there someone to help you? Is this your first baby, guys? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, first baby. How many weeks is she now, sir? Um, She is 38 weeks. 30 weeks. So you said she's having contractions? Yes, and um, she started earlier today, um, and we were told to call back if they got five minutes apart. And right now, according to our contraction calculator, they're about four minutes and 16 seconds apart. They're getting pretty bad, mm -hmm. so she'd want some sort of pain intervention. Because honestly, that's what I tell patients that are first-time mommies and are contracting because you can contract but you know you may not be ready for pain intervention so yeah. if you feel like you're ready for pain intervention um we suggest you do come in you ready to rock savvy family we're on our way to the hospital guys um so i'm gonna get my boba bear in the car and we gonna be on the way and then we're gonna tap back in with you guys my little baby rico is gonna be by himself i gotta call my mom and pops now actually and let them know that we're headed out and that these tractions is getting real tracty and um, they con, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Lily, You're, we had now, mama, them tractions is about three minutes apart. Whoa, okay, baby, get there. All right, savvy fam. We are on the way to the hospital now. Um, Lily's having quite a few contractions. They're getting real regular, and we're gonna see what's good. They said that your boy gonna have to send the car for about, yeah. what they say, an hour? But you know, I like cars, we cool. Lil's gonna get there. They're gonna get her all taken care of and signed in and all that. And then uh, after that, uh, bug just flew down off the thing. But after that, then they're gonna let your boy in, and then we're gonna get at this baby having, and hopefully, we have our baby here tomorrow or sometime today. Hopefully we don't get sent back home. We gonna tap back in with y'all in a little bit here. You got this. This ain't nothing to a G. You a capital G. Hang in there, baby. Hang in there, boo. How bad are you rating them right now? Honestly, I said a seven, but probably like an eight and a half, nine. Oh, savvy family. I guess we'll tap back in when the doc comes in and lets us know if we're going to get admitted or not. All right, guys. Hold tight. My mom said when she was uh, three centimeters, it flew by. Like, doctor walked out and was like, it's going to be some hours before you have your baby. And then walked out and walked back and Phil's head was there. Yeah, um, I just, I called her back in here because I told her my contractions are getting a lot more intense. Yeah. Wait, I have another one. Uh. 
Breathe, baby. What's taking them so long on admitting you? I don't think I don't think three centimeters is active labor. But I think I, think I it is. definitely since they checked me. Isn't it? I'm so like crying because I wish you were here. Oh, I know, baby. I know it's freaking whack. Almost made me say something. Hi, Savvy family. They have to do a COVID screen on her and some other test, and then they'll admit her. Everything's progressing quick. Water still hasn't broken though. In reality, I really don't want to miss any of this, so I'm really hoping that they can get Lily in fast. Um, and yeah, guys, I'm excited. I'm so excited, guys. Like this is like it's just insane. Like I'm just trying to wrap my head around it and like having a having a baby on the way right now and like you know like i was saying earlier guys like you don't want to see your girl in pain like i just hate that and i hate that i can't be in there with her right now like it just kind of sucks like don't want to like get emotional or nothing like that but like it just kind of sucks because like i can't be up there with my girl right now and like i know like she was really going through it like she's in a lot of pain and she don't want me to leave um so yeah, my heart definitely is going out to anybody who's having babies right now um, Cause it's just a little crazy with the whole COVID situation going on But things could be worse, you know, God is still good Alright Savvy fam, we're back Yo, we're gonna admit it So um, right now Lily is at 3 centimeters dilated I think they usually want you to be a little farther along to admit you um, So I'm still posted up in the car, it's hot, smelly Smell my own breath bouncing off the windows haven't brushed my teeth yet. It was six in the morning. It's been a few hours since I brushed last. Back hurt because it's car seat in the back seat, so I can't lay down. But why am I complaining? I ain't got my uterus busting. Anyway, hopefully I get to go inside and be with my girls. I really want to be with my girls right now, guys. You have no idea. I want to be with them so bad. I'm tired of waiting. I'm just real tired of waiting. But yeah, um, baby girl's doing all right. I got her on the FaceTime right now. Um, but yeah, guys, we'll just keep updating you guys as we get information. A few moments later. Y'all can, can just hang out with me. Here, yep, there you go. Y'all hang out with me. Let's take a nap, Savvy family, if y'all down. Y'all down? I'm tired. Y'all, it's like 6, what is it? 6.53? What? That ain't right. That can't be right. Hold on. Baby, what time it is? My phone ain't working. My clock ain't working. No, it is 6.53. That's crazy. They said an hour, yo. It's been like three hours. <sighs> I'm going shine. And I know y'all wondering why I got two masks on. It's because my black mask got a vent, and they ain't going to like the vent. They're going to be like, hey, bruh, put this mask on. But I had the blue surgical mask at home. I want to wear their dirty mask because I don't know where their mask been. But my mask been at home, so I got my double on just in case they try to pull up on the boy. But at this point, they already got me because they got me sitting out here in this damn hot, stuffy car. Been turning the car off and on, but the gas just, the gas just, yeah, the gas going down every time I turn the car on, so. I'm tired, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm tired. I ain't slept yet. But, uh, my girl going through it. I'm a little upset because I'm outside. But, Savvy family, yeah, we're going to tap back in with y'all, all right? We out for now. Okay, Savvy family. I made it. I made it, y'all. I'm happy. I made it here. Um, yo, so this is the room. I beat Lily here, actually. <laughs> This is our room. This is where they're gonna put Azalea. Isn't that crazy? Now we're just gonna wait for Lily to get here because it feels weird. She's like eight centimeters dilated right now and they're doing all these tests. And like, I literally had to freak out and Lily had to freak out in order for me to get up here because I was like, yo, I can't miss it. She's already eight centimeters dilated. Like, you know, you're gonna admit her to send me up. So they did. She's not here yet. You have the baby at like 10 centimeters and this is just flying by. It's just flying by and it hasn't been the worst for her. The most intolerable. Hopefully she can get her epidural like right now because I know if they wait too long, they can't give it to her. So. They need to give her the epidural, and they're doing the COVID test. So this is just like, oh, it's like nerve-wracking. I just want her to be here. Um, but Savvy Fam, I will tap back in with you guys in a little bit. <sighs> give me like 20, 30. Well, that's more like a split second for you guys, but 20, 30 minutes for me. Um, I'm waiting for my baby to get here. I want my boba here. Uh, yeah, so y'all just uh, stay posted, and hopefully her... And Zaley and the nurses and doctors and whoever need to be here will be here within like the next few minutes. All right, though. Peace. What's up, your family? Since uh, we're still waiting, I guess I'll give you the room tour. So this right here, y'all, this is where Queen going to be 
sitting, sleeping, laying. I don't know. That look like laying to me. Especially gonna be laying. This is that California king bed, Egyptian cotton, and then they got the satin pillowcases for the tears that run down in the excruciating labor pains. Then they got the baby. This is like, this is like. Anyways, as I was saying, this is one of them sleep number beds, as y'all can see. This is like the baby sleep number. If the baby ain't comfortable, she can turn the knob and she can lift up or she could go down, something like that. Okay, that's that there. Um, and then we're going to come over to my spot right here. This is where I sleep, I guess. I guess I sleep right here or right there. But this one looks more comfy because it's a little wider, so I'm going to sleep there. This don't got no blankets, no sheets, no nothing. And they don't care about me. Um, and this right here, this is the TV. Just in case we get bored, that's the TV. And then this right here, that is the um, the sky. That's the view. This holographic window right there. That's hard. Then this is my closet right here. So y'all know I got a lot of clothes. And so that's my closet, even though my stuff in the corner on the ground right now. Um, and then this is the view right here. This is what y'all going to be looking at in a little bit. Hopefully, if they move fast enough, because they're pissing me off low-key, because they ain't gave my baby the epidural. They told us it was going to be an hour wait. But they take it 100 years and then they want to come and they want to blame us. But anyway, they're going to catch my fate after this. But I'm going to just enjoy um, the process right now. And y'all just pray for me because I'm not a happy man. But I'm about to be the happiest man. So bear with me, y'all. Bear with me. Bear with me. All right, anyway, that was the tour. If y'all enjoyed this episode of Cribs, tune in next week. For, no, I'm just playing, y'all. All right, we out for now. Savvy family. They finally brought me my boba. I'm so happy. She's such a set for stars. Guys, she's doing such a good job. She's doing such an amazing job. They have her one more thing right now. No epidural yet, and she's eight or more centimeters. Dilated. She's doing an amazing job, though, guys, hanging in there. Um, they went to go and get the epidural. They need to bring it, like, now, or else they're going to have a problem with your boy. Hang in there, baby girl. Hang in there. You got it. Breathe, remember? Nose. Mouth. You can. You're doing a great job, baby. Guys, she dilated like super fast. Like she got here at three centimeters. And like in like 25 minutes, she was at like seven. And now she's about like eight, maybe more now. <sighs> I'm waiting for the doctors to get here because this is going so quick, y'all. Like it's going so fast. <sighs> Oh my goodness, how is it?